That's one of the most highly regarded basketball prospects in Kentucky will not be allowed to play in a charity basketball game to benefit Eastern Kentucky flood victims. UK commit Reed Shepard was one of the first players to sign up for the Midwest Charity Classic scheduled for August 27th at Frederick Douglass High School. But as LAX 18's Mike Valenti explains, an obscure high school rule will prevent any Kentucky players from taking the court. It's the LAX 18 big story at 11. More than a dozen of the country's four and five star recruits will descend on Lexington later this month to help those affected by last month's floods. Well, my first take was what a great idea the charity game is. Second take, why in the world would the KHSAA not approve a waiver for Reed Shepard and Travis Perry to be able to play? Kentucky freelance sports journalist Larry Vaught was looking forward to watching Kentuckians Reed Shepard and Travis Perry match up against some of the nation's finest but he didn't realize their participation would be derailed by the Kentucky High School Athletic Association. It's unfortunate that it's being cast in the light of somehow this is a restriction on a couple of players, but this is the restriction on every basketball player in this state. Commissioner Julian Tackett says a KHSAA bylaw that predates his time with the organization prevents any Kentucky student who has played basketball for a high school in the past from playing on a non-school sponsored team from the first day of the school year until the competitive year is over. When you have a rule that you can summarily make exceptions to, the rule by its very face becomes arbitrary and capricious and you no longer have a rule. That's what the courts have found. You cannot be arbitrary. In other words, Shepard and Perry will not get waivers to play. This generated some outrage online, but Vaught says Tackett should not be blamed. It's just an unfortunate set of circumstances that I really don't know that anybody's at fault. It's just the rule, and that's the rule. Tackett points out he's actually supported amending the bylaw to remove this restriction on players. But at a meeting last year, schools voted down his proposal. Tackett suggests KHSA members try to operate within the rules to help flood victims. If our schools really want to help, how about all 280 of them playing their first game and sending the proceeds down there? Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.